The UK government is to press ahead with plans to take control over areas of default funding, bypassing our own parliament. This compounds the Tories' actions, leaving both devolved governments and councils in the dark over crucial post-Brexit funding. It's now beyond any doubt that the only way to properly protect our interests and Parliament is to become an independent country. Thankfully, independence is well established as the majority view, with 22 consecutive opinion polls now giving a majority for yes, while the union unit descends further into turmoil and infighting. With the departure of Oliver Lewis, its second chief to get dumped in a fortnight. Votes this week saw me oppose the government's handling of the economy and calling for various measures, including an extension of the £20 universal credit uplift. I then voted to support extension and enhancement of various COVID support measures. And finally, on the Telecommunications Infrastructure Bill, I supported requiring a review of the impact of the Act on the Electronic Communications Code. My colleague Hannah Bardell flagged up the cronyism at the heart of public contracts. I'll leave it for you to decide if it was corruption or coincidence. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. Can the Minister tell me if it's coincidence, incompetence or just rank stupidity that his Government and Health Secretary awarded a £30 million contract for testing vials to the Health Secretary's former neighbour, who was a former pub landlord and had no experience in this field and is now being investigated by the MHRA? And surely he agrees that these breaches mean the Health Secretary must resign? The coronavirus crisis has exposed deep inequalities which exist under the Westminster system. And this week, Ian Blackford called out the PM over the coronavirus failings and the worst recession in 300 years. Prime Minister, will your government follow the example of the US and boost the economy like Biden? Or is the Tory plan to return to type and impose yet another decade of Tory austerity? If we want to make the best possible recovery for Scotland after the pandemic, then we must have the full powers of a normal, independent country. If not, we will face decades of austerity under the Tories. The stakes could not be higher. May's election will determine who has the right to decide what sort of country we become after the pandemic. The people of Scotland or Boris Johnson? That's the question. Even the Tories now admit that an SNP majority will mean a referendum on independence. If you're not following my colleagues Fiona Hislop MSP and Michelle Thompson, Please do. Links to their Facebook pages are in the description. Until next week, stay safe.